Hey there, YouTube. I survived last night's live stream for those of you that watched it. It was my first time live streaming on YouTube with the guys. I think I'll think we'll do it again. It was a glorious shit show. Um, if you didn't watch it, I, it's, at one point I got a text from Lucas, I think, and he's just like, hey, how drunk is Matt? And I was like, uh, he's like an 8.5 or 9 out of 10. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, amazing. All right. Let's get into a productive question here. Ben, I haven't noticed front heavy guns causing slower transitions. Usually my transition is occurring during the slide cycle and recovery from recoil. As the gun rises, I just proceed to index downward on the next target rather than one I just engaged. This makes my splits on the target almost identical to splits when transitioning between targets. They are within a few thousandths of a second. I'm not sure how a, a non-front heavy gun could make that faster. Am I wrong about that? Um, no, not really. I, I, I think the, 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 the heavier guns slowing down transitions, like the way that I would say that is you, like the heavier the gun gets, the, the more you're going to lose precision. So it's like if I'm shooting at close range, like my gun will go from here to here, you know, like the lighter gun, like, like the lighter the gun is, you know, and the, the more precisely I feel like I can index it, I can do the transition more aggressively without losing precision. Now, if I'm like, if I'm seven yards away from targets and they're like, like USPSA targets seven yards away and they're just like right next to each other visually, I'm going to get the same score. I'm going to get the same outcome, like kind of like no matter what gun I'm using. It'll be like as fast as I can pull the trigger and it's, you know, I'll look at, I'll look at a spot and the gun will just go spot to spot, literally as fast as I can pull the trigger. It's like the weight of the gun's not going to matter. However, um, a, as you set the targets more at distance or there's more, uh, more of a lateral swing between them, you're going to notice a difference in the precision of like the gun moving spot to spot as you get it heavier. Right. I mean, there's a skill level thing too. Right. But you'll just notice, Hey man, this is easier to be precise. Like as the gun swings from spot to spot. Now, as the, the range extends, like let's say maybe you're 15, 20 yards away from the targets transitioning between them. You might like, if you have a little imprecise transition and the gun doesn't go quite to where you want, you're going to end up like waiting a little bit for the sight to center up where you want it. And then this is where you're going to experience a difference in the time or, or, you might just transition the gun a little bit imprecisely and pull the trigger anyway. And then the, the difference will show up in the points. So I think uh, it's, it's really difficult to measure. This is one of those things with practical shooting that's um, interesting. Like it's difficult to measure the actual outcome of the, like, like what, what exact statistical effect the, you know, making the gun heavier has. It's going to, it's going to change, but it's like, don't think that it doesn't just show up in the time and it's going to change depending on the scenario. Um, I would say it's just more comfortable. Like I, I like the, the lighter weight guns, like they are more handy and convenient. Um, it's easier to be precise with them as you transition around. Um, however, it's just not the case that it's like, a like it's a linear relationship type of a thing. And it's really easy to measure be, because it's not, it doesn't work like that. Uh, as all things with shooting, it's like, uh, doesn't quite work the way that you want it to work. Another interesting, well, this isn't that interesting. How do you keep track of your multiple copies of a gun? You mentioned number 66 in the fire, uh, the FCD video, and you appear to know one shadow from another. Like I don't have a formal system for keeping track of, of my guns. Uh, I just, I mean, I, once I shoot them a lot, like I kind of get to know like this gun is this, this gun is that as much, even, a, even Glocks, like you take Glocks and start monkeying with them and shooting them for a while. Like in theory, they should be identical, but no two guns are truly really identical. Uh, anyway, oh, that's enough rambling for today. Uh, we'll keep the questions coming guys.